Ronald Wilson Reagan was born on February 6, 1911, in Tampico, Illinois, to John Edward Reagan and Nellie Wilson Reagan. He had one older brother, Neil. Reagan's father worked as a shoe salesman and his mother was a homemaker. The family moved frequently during Reagan's childhood. Residing in several small towns in Illinois before finally settling in Dixon. Reagan developed a passion for acting at a young age. In high school, he performed in school plays and participated in various extracurricular activities. He attended Eureka College in Illinois, where he continued to pursue his interest in acting and performed in school productions. Reagan also showed an interest in politics during his college years, serving as student body president and participating in debates. After graduating in 1932 with a degree in economics and sociology, Reagan embarked on a career in broadcasting. He found success as a radio sports announcer, working for various stations in Iowa. Reagan's engaging voice and charismatic delivery made him popular among listeners. In 1937, he traveled to California to cover the Chicago Cubs spring training and decided to stay in the state to pursue an acting career. Reagan signed a contract with Warner Brothers Studios and began his acting career in Hollywood. He appeared in numerous films, primarily in supporting roles, and gained recognition for his performances in movies such as Newt Rockney, All American, 1940, where he played the role of legendary football player George Gipp. Reagan's athletic build and boyish charm made him a favorite among audiences, and he soon became a well known actor in the industry. During World War II, Reagan served in the U.S. Army Air Force's first motion picture unit, where he produced training and propaganda films. His military service reinforced his patriotic values and instilled in him a deep appreciation for the sacrifices made by the armed forces. Reagan's acting career flourished in the post-war years, and he appeared in several successful films, including King's Row, 1942, and The Hasty Heart, 1949. However, by the late 1950s, his film roles began to decline, and he transitioned to television work. Reagan hosted the popular television series, General Electric Theater, from 1954 to 1962, which further increased his visibility and popularity. Reagan's involvement in politics began to take shape during this period. He became a prominent spokesperson for the Republican Party and delivered a powerful televised speech in support of Barry Goldwater's presidential campaign in 1964. The speech, known as A Time for Choosing or The Speech, catapulted Reagan into the national political spotlight and earned him the reputation of a charismatic conservative leader. Encouraged by his growing political popularity, Reagan decided to run for governor of California in 1966. He won the election and served two terms as governor, from 1967 to 1975. Reagan implemented conservative policies during his tenure, including tax cuts, welfare reform, and increased law enforcement efforts. His strong stance against anti-war protests and his response to the 1969 People's Park protests in Berkeley gained him support among law and order conservatives. Reagan's success as governor propelled him to seek the presidency. He first ran for the Republican nomination in 1976 but narrowly lost to incumbent President Gerald Ford. Reagan's conservative platform and optimistic vision for America resonated with many voters, and he secured the Republican nomination in 1980. During his presidential campaign, Reagan pledged to restore American prosperity and strength. He emphasized his belief in limited government, free market principles, and individual freedom. Reagan's communication skills and ability to connect with the American people earned him the nickname The Great Communicator. In the 1980 general election, Reagan faced Democratic incumbent President Jimmy Carter. Reagan's campaign capitalized on the economic difficulties and perceived weakness of the Carter administration. He won a decisive victory carrying 44 out of 50 states and securing a substantial electoral college majority. 
Reagan's presidency was marked by a series of significant domestic and foreign policy initiatives. One of his primary objectives was to stimulate economic growth through a set of policies known as reaganomics. He advocated for tax cuts, deregulation, and reduced government spending. While these policies initially faced criticism, they eventually led to a period of sustained economic expansion, known as the Reagan boom, which included a decline in unemployment rates and increased GDP growth. On the foreign policy front, Reagan pursued a strong anti-communist stance and sought to counter Soviet influence. He denounced the Soviet Union as an evil empire and implemented a substantial military buildup to deter potential aggression. Reagan proposed the Strategic Defense Initiative, SDI, a missile defense system intended to protect the United States from nuclear attacks. Although the full implementation of SDI was never realized. The program represented a significant shift in the strategic balance of power between the United States and the Soviet Union. Reagan's efforts to engage with the Soviet Union played a pivotal role in ending the Cold War. He pursued a policy of peace through strength, combining a strong military posture with diplomatic negotiations. His meetings with Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev, including the historic 1986 summit in Reykjavik, Iceland, helped thaw the tensions between the two superpowers. In 1987, Reagan and Gorbachev signed the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces INF, treaty, which eliminated a whole class of intermediate-range missiles. Despite his successes, Reagan's second term in office faced challenges. In 1986, the Iran-Contra affair came to light revealing that senior administration officials had secretly facilitated the sale of weapons to Iran and used the proceeds to fund rebels in Nicaragua, known as the Contras. The scandal raised questions about the Reagan administration's adherence to the law and damaged its reputation. However, Reagan himself maintained that he had no knowledge of the illicit activities taking place. Reagan's presidency ended on January 20, 1989, when he handed over the reins of power to his vice president, George H. W. Bush. After leaving office, Reagan retired to his ranch in Santa Barbara, California, known as the Rancho del Cielo. He remained active in public life, giving speeches and advocating for conservative causes. In 1994, Reagan announced that he had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, a progressive neurological disorder that eventually led to his death in 2004. Ronald Reagan's legacy continues to shape American politics and conservatism. He is credited with reinvigorating the Republican Party, shifting the political landscape to the right, and ushering in an era of conservative dominance. His presidency is remembered for its impact on the economy, the Cold War, and the role of the United States in the world.